everybody. Today I am doing a much requested video and that is pinup makeup with vintage eyeglasses or vintage makeup with any kind of eyeglasses really uh, but most of the glasses I have are vintage. I've been asked for this for years and I've never done it and I researched some tips and tricks and I am sharing a lot of them with you today. I apologize for the glare on my glasses. <laughs> it's glare wherever I go. One trick I can share with you before we get started is that they actually make a special pair of makeup eyeglasses. You can get them in your prescription. If you can see close up, like me, you don't really need them because I can put my makeup on without my glasses and I can see just fine. But if you cannot see close up or you have an astigmatism or you need bifocals or whatever it may be that is makes it difficult for you to see in the mirror, they make these special kind of eyeglasses that one of the lenses is sort of the whole thing comes away so this lens is still there so you're actually able to see what you're doing with the eye and both sides do that so you can do your eye makeup so hopefully that is helpful for you gals that have very extreme prescriptions and um, sort of eye things going on but that being said let's do this okay so to start with I am going to use a concealer underneath my eyes, which I've already done because I've already done my base, but you also want to use an eyeshadow primer on your lids. Now I'm just using this concealer as my eyeshadow primer, but you can use a normal eyeshadow primer if you want as well. And if you have a problem with your glasses sliding down the bridge of your nose, you can put a little bit of your primer right here on your nose and then just set it with a tiny, tiny bit of powder so it's still a little bit tacky and that will help from your glasses sliding down your nose all day long. So now I'm gonna take my white sugar pill eyeshadow called taco and I'm just gonna apply this underneath my brow bone and also on the inner corner of my eye and this is gonna really help to brighten up your eyes The brighter you can make your eyes look with glasses the better and a little bit on the bottom inner corner so now I'm gonna take this Stila all over shimmer duo and I'm gonna take the lighter color and I'm just going to apply it to my bottom lash line. When you're wearing glasses, it's really helpful to have a bright shimmery color underneath your eye because usually when your glasses are on, this part of your eye is a little bit covered and this part of your eye is what you're really gonna see. So if you have something shimmery and bright under here, it's really gonna make your eyes look really bright and really pop. So now I'm gonna take that same duo and I'm taking the second color and I'm just gonna use this in my crease. Now, when I am doing makeup for a glasses, I don't use a lot of eyeshadow because you're not gonna really see it. So I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of makeup. So just stick with one good neutral color to put in your crease to just sort of accentuate that crease and then call it a day. So when it comes to eyebrows for glasses, I tend to actually be a little bit more conservative with my eyebrows, uh, meaning I don't do the big, dark, bold eyebrows that I usually do. And that's mostly because these vintage glasses, they tend to bow upwards and they kind of cover your eyebrow. So if you have big, thick, bold eyebrows that are kind of covered by your glasses, you lose the shape and you just kind of look like you have giant Groucho Marx eyebrows. So I like to do um, a little bit lighter, a little bit higher in the arch and just not quite as bold. So I'm gonna start with this Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to define the eyebrows I already have. Now if you do have modern glasses, especially if you have modern glasses that have big frames, you can definitely play around with your eyebrow shape. I'm just doing my eyebrows to sort of fit vintage frames. So you definitely need to play around with your frames to make sure that your eyebrows are fitting the frames that you have. So now I'm just gonna take some Tinted Eyebrow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to use this to keep my eyebrows in place because I have crazy eyebrows that like to stick out at all different directions. Easy. So now I'm gonna use a highlighter. And this is something that I don't generally use with pinup makeup. However, when you're wearing glasses, you really, really need to make sure that you're highlighting this area of your face. And that includes cheekbones as well as eyes. So you want to make sure that you have a highlighter, a blush, and you do your eye makeup properly. So I am just using this Michelle Phan highlighter. I'm just going to use a little bit of it right on the tops of my cheekbones. And this is really going to make 
your face and your eyes look nice and bright. You want to use this highlighter after you've done your foundation and your powder. So now I'm going to do my blush and I'm using this tease by Pure Minerals and I'm going to apply it like I apply my blush always for pin-up makeup starting on the apples of my cheeks but then I'm going to go a little bit heavier than I usually do. You gotta go a little bit heavier with your blush because part of your cheeks are going to be hidden by your glasses, generally. And also, since you're going lighter with your eye makeup, you really wanna make sure that you have your cheeks defined. All right, let's talk eyeliner. I'm using a liquid eyeliner like I always do. You don't have to shy away from liquid eyeliner just because you're wearing glasses. Make sure that it is dry on your eyelashes before you put your glasses on, especially if you're not wearing mascara. Otherwise, you're gonna get the streaks on the front of your glasses, but otherwise, liquid liner should not be scary. However, if you see by this eye, I I do thinner eyeliner when I'm wearing vintage cat eye glasses. This is because these frames are pretty thin. Your eyeliner thickness should match the thickness of your glasses. So if you have big, thick, chunky glasses, by all means, do big, thick, chunky eyeliner. If you have smaller, light colored, or delicate frames, you're gonna wanna go lighter with your eyeliner, otherwise your eyeliner is gonna overpower your glasses. But you definitely want to do some sort of eyeliner so that your eyes are still showing through those frames. So I am just going to do a nice thin line that comes to a very small point. The benefit of wearing glasses is that you don't have to worry so much about your wing because you're not gonna really see it that much. What you're really gonna wanna focus is keeping your liner nice and thin and nice and straight. So now it's the dreaded mascara. And this is what a lot of girls ask me about because they tend to get, again, the streaks on your glasses. I've heard that you're not supposed to curl your eyelashes when you wear eyeglasses. However, I have very, very straight, long eyelashes. So if I don't curl mine, they stick straight out and they are going to hit those glasses. A benefit of vintage eyeglasses is that they tend to bow out from your eyes, so it's a little bit easier to get away with long eyelashes or fake eyelashes. But I generally don't wear fake eyelashes when I am wearing glasses because one, you don't really see them that much, so it's kind of a waste of fakes. And two, they tend to be too long and they really bother me when I'm wearing glasses, they hit the glasses. So, step one, you want to curl your eyelashes. And this is just to make sure that they're not rubbing on your glasses. Step two, mascara. I am just using this Arbonne mascara. You can use any mascara that you like. A volumizing mascara is great. Try to stay away from lengthening mascaras because those are gonna add length to your lashes and they're gonna hit the glasses even worse. You can also do waterproof mascara if you do feel that your mascara is transferring onto your glasses. I generally don't like waterproof mascara, as you guys know if you've watched my videos. So it's totally up to you the formula that you like. And I am doing an extra double, triple coat of mascara just to make sure that my eyelashes are nice and thick and beautiful because I am not doing fake eyelashes. And also do a little bit on your bottom lashes if you have bottom lashes. If you don't, don't worry about it. Done. Okay, so one thing to remember when you are wearing eyeglasses and you are trying to do your pinup makeup is that the best look for an eyeglass wearer is neutral eyes and then bright lips. And this is because you don't really see a lot of what's happening with your eye makeup as far as brows, shadow, and liner when you're wearing eyeglasses as you do when you're not. So you really want to play up bright, bold lips because there's nothing covering those. And then don't stress so much about your eye. So because of this, I like to play around with lipstick colors when I'm wearing glasses. Generally, when I'm not wearing glasses, I'm just a red girl and I stick with true reds. When I am wearing glasses, you will see, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I wear super dark lipsticks, I wear purples, I wear pinks. Um, and I, I do a little bit sort of outside of the pinup box when I'm wearing glasses because I find it's a little bit more fun. So today I'm going to do a pink and I'm using this obsessive compulsive light and I'm just gonna line my entire mouth with it. Now I am just going to use this MAC lipstick in Candy Yum Yum and it's just a really, really beautiful pink and I'm just gonna fill in on top of that liner. Dun -dun -dun -dun. So, let me put my old glasses on, ye old glasses. And the reflection is terrible so it's really hard for you to see. But anyways, this is my pinup makeup for wearers of glasses. And I'm going to show you this look on a couple different kinds of glasses. So hopefully that is useful to you guys. 
If you are glasses wearers and you have other tips and tricks to share, please do in the comments below. I always love when you guys help each other out. And honestly, when I wear glasses, I don't wear makeup that often. So um, I really had to sort of scour the depths of my makeup knowledge to come up with this video for you guys. So anyways, hope you guys like it and I will see you in the next one.